Uh, now we will starting with the next topic that is FET, that is uh, called FET field defect transistor. So initially we have gone through uh, with the transistor that is a BJT. Now we will be going with the another type of transistor that is called field defect transistors. Okay. So in this class, basically we will be going with the introduction part. So from next class onwards, we will be going with the working of the feds. Okay. So how this feds are defined, we will uh, see that and how its construction is there. So uh, we will go in that like how the construction of feds are going to be uh, done. And the construction of feds are somewhat different from uh, the construction of uh, BJTs. So here, the pairs that is field effect transistor is basically uh, going to have three different terminals and four different terminals. Okay, we will first start with the uh, basics. So here in this diagram, it is shown like a uh, black box is there. This is a BJT. So here. Uh, based on the input current so whatever input current was there that is ib so ib was the input current so we were varying the input current based on that we were getting some output current okay so it is basically this is input side and this is the output side so in on input side we were varying the current and on the output side we were getting the output in terms of current itself okay so it is basically called current controlled because input current is going to control the output current. So that's why it is called current control. So BJT is a control current control device. Okay. Or we can call it current controlled current source because output is a current. So current controlled. Current control, current source. This is the BJD. But the FETs that we will be going with, that is field defect transistor. So here, field defect transistors are like it will be a black box. Here, the input side we will be controlling the gate to source voltage, or this is a three terminal device. It is so. This is gate. This is drain, and this is source. So this FET is a three terminal device where the input side we will be controlling the uh, input voltage basically. So this is input voltage VGS. So whatever input voltage is there, we will be controlling the input voltage and with respect to that, we will be getting the output side. We will be getting the current. So here we are going to control the output current similar to the BJT, but this controlling will be done based on the input voltage that we are applying on the input side. Okay, so this FETs are called voltage control device. Okay, so based on the voltage control, we will be up you going to use these uh, devices for an amplifier. So it is like a voltage controlled amplifier. Okay, so this is called so this FETs are called voltage controlled current source. So this is voltage controlled current source. So this were the VJTs were current controlled current source. Okay, so in both the cases we are getting the output as a current, but the controlling mechanism is different in case of BJT and in case of FETs. Okay, so we will be going with the FETs like so here we are going to control uh, the output current based on the input voltage. That means if we are going to uh, change the input voltage, that means we are going to change the electric field on the input side. Okay, so with whatever you know, voltage we are applying across uh, across this, there will be potential difference, and because of that potential difference, there will be an electric field intensity. Okay, so basically, in case of FETs, the operation of the device will depend on the electric field intensity okay 
that is that will intensity with that will uh, electric field intensity that will be introduced because of the applied gate voltage and also applied uh, output voltage that we will be applying basically so here the electric field will will be developed inside the channel region okay so this is like the operation the operation of set devices depend on electric field electric field intensity produced or applied basically produced in the channel region okay so there will be an electric field intensity based on that there will be a current flow whatever electric field intensity that we have uh, there is uh, electric field intensity developed across the channel the current flow will be with respect to the field intensity that we have applied okay so we can another point we can write like this feds are feds are basically like voltage control okay so you can write that it is voltage It is voltage control devices okay and here in the feds what will be going on is like whatever the current flow will be there that current flow will be with respect to the majority charge carriers only okay but in beach it is it was like here holes and electrons both were constituting the current part but in case of feds only the majority carrier will be uh, going to have the current flow that means here we can write like here majority carrier uh, current is there that means it is called majority carrier device okay as it is having majority carrier device we can call it like it is a monopolar device okay because bjt is a bipolar device this FETs are monopolar that means it is having only one charge uh, basically either uh, positive or negative that means either uh, uh, holes or electrons that will only be constituting the current flow so here uh, current will be because of the only one charge one type of charge okay so as there is the only majority charge carriers there will be no minority charge carriers So here, no minority charge carrier will be there. So if there is no minority charge carrier, that means because of uh, no minority charge carrier, there will be like the minority charge carriers are like the charge carriers that constitute the leakage also. Okay. So if there is no minority charge carrier, there will be no leakage current. in case of FETs okay and also as there is no minority charge carrier these devices like uh, the devices FETs will be having less noise it will be having less it is less noisy device as it is having no minority charge carriers okay and also if it is having no minority charge carrier the temperature effect will be less you can just write like if it is uh, no minority charge carrier so whenever we are going to increase the temperature the minority carriers who are going to get uh, doubled for every 10 degree rise in temperature okay so icu or whatever uh, reverse saturation current we have uh, talked about so minority charge carriers gets uh, basically 
increase very rapidly in terms of uh, the temperature but here there is no magnetic charge carrier so there will be less effect of temperature okay so majority charge carriers very uh, the change in majority charge carriers are very less okay compared to the minority but here the, there is no minority so there will be very less effect of temperature less effect of temperature will be there so if very less effect of temperature will be there that means it will be having high thermal stability so thermal stability in terms of fts will be very high okay and also these fts are operated in like uh, uh, its input side on the input side this fpt uh, will be operated uh, in a reverse bias so generally these fts are having high input resistance okay so if we talk about the input resistance so it will be having high high input resistance so high input resistance uh, devices are there so high input resistance devices so generally this input resistance will be greater than or equal to around 1 mega ohm okay that means it will be uh, either 1 mega ohm or greater than 1 mega ohm okay so it is it is showing very high input devices in terms of bjts so bjts are bjts are having low input resistance so input resistance in bjts like on the meter side we have uh, found it out re okay so that was value that was ranging between around 40 to 100 ohms only okay so this was the input side the input resistance in case of uh, common base configuration re that we were getting is 40 to 100 ohms only but in case of uh, uh, fts we will be getting high input resistance okay also the power consumption in case of uh, the fts are very less so here the power consumption power consumption is very less okay as compared to uh the bjt is if you talk about and also we will see some of the more properties compared to uh, bjt is here okay so if we are going to implement an amplifier if we are going to have an amplifier implementation fits are a better device for constructing or for basically going to have an amplifier as an application for these devices so fits are better device if we are going to implement an amplifier than the bjts okay bjts are less preferred for less preferred device for amplifier okay so fts will be preferred for uh, implementing the amplifier as as application for these devices okay and also if we compare uh, the bjt with fts so here fts fts are of very small size compared to bjt and also very small size and also it is very easier to fabricate okay then these bjts so these are the different properties of fts compared to uh, the bjt and also like uh, it is uh, one of the important you can say device that is most frequently used in uh, current uh, 
uh, electronic applications okay so there are some disadvantages also like uh, there are some disadvantages advantages associated with uh, this pjts or sorry in apts so we will just see what are the dis disadvantages so in terms of, terms of uh, disadvantages for apts so here the one of the first disadvantage is like it is having a smaller gain okay so the gain of these devices so gain means the output divided by the input so whatever input is there and output is there so gain in terms of FTEs are less okay and also as it is having smaller gain it is having a smaller gain bandwidth product okay that means a smaller gain bandwidth product okay so this is the disadvantage associated with uh, this FET okay so next uh, we will go with like the construction of FETs how these FETs are constructed and what are the different types of FET okay so first of all we will see what are the different types of FETs so in terms of FETs there are different FETs are there different types okay so this is basically divided into two major part so one of the FET is called JFET okay so this JFET stands for junction field effect transistor another one is called MOSFET so here in this uh, course basically there are other type of FETs are also there but we will be basically going with the JFET and MOSFET only okay so we have just considered it like it is of two types only so MOSFET there is another like MOSFET uh, MESFET so we will just uh, consider only two parts okay because these two topics we will be going in this uh, course so one is JFET that is junction field effect transistor another one is MOSFET so this MOSFET is metal oxide semiconductor so your uh, FETs are basically JFET and MOSFET okay there are two different times we will be uh, going with so this JFET is junction field effect transistor and the MOSFET is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor the same okay so these two we will be going in deep like how its construction is there and how its input and output characteristics are being plotted and that means how its working is uh, explained basically so we will be going with the working and the construction of these type of devices okay so this FETs so just we can have a short note of uh, these devices just so this FETs are of it is a three terminal a device the three terminals of this uh, jfet is the source that is s defined for source g defined for gate and d defined for drain so there are th three different uh, terminals in case of uh, mosfet this uh, MOSFET is having four terminals. It is a four terminal device. Okay, so the four different terminals are source, gate, drain. Another one other terminal is that is called body or we call it substrate okay substrate or body we call it so it is 
substrate or body it is also called bulk okay so we can just call it uh, the body or the substrate so most frequently it is called substrate or body okay so it is a three terminal device jfed and the mosfet is of four terminal device in case of uh, the jfed the input resistance is of the range like it is having the input resistance that is 10 power 6 to 10 to the power 8 ohm in case of mosfet the input resistance is of the range like it is 10 to the power 10 to 10 to the power 15 ohm resistance okay and also this uh, is having 10 to the power 10 to 10 to the power 15 uh, ohm uh, as the input uh, resistance so it is the device that is having the highest input resistance okay so it is highest input resistance device resistance device okay so that's why this mosfet is uh, most frequently uh, used nowadays it is having highest input device uh, sorry it is having a highest input resistance so as it is having highest input uh, resistance so it can be applied just before uh, any system is being implemented so if any system is being Im implemented then as the first stage this mosfets will be used because if any uh, system is having suppose this is a system in that whatever input we are applying so suppose this is the input we are applying so we need to uh, place here a device okay that device should be offering the I, um, you can say maximum input resistance so that whatever resistance of the circuit is there and then suppose this device is having highest input resistance this okay so whatever input we are applying so the same input should be appearing at the input of this uh, you can say system okay so whatever input we are applying it should not be uh, you can say reduced its magnitude should not be reduced in between the path suppose this is the uh, series resistance associated with the input that we are applying so suppose this is r i is very very high then the voltage across this r i okay that voltage will be the input voltage to the system okay so input voltage to the system suppose this is there so input voltage to the system will be given by like r i divided by r s plus r i multiplied by the input voltage okay so if r i is very very high then we can just approximate it like it will be r i divided by r s plus r i will be again the r i because r i is very very large in compared to r s so it will be r i so it is this so this r i will be cancelled and that means whatever input we are applying the input voltage will be applied to input of the system itself okay so here we input to the system okay the system will be getting the input exactly the same that is applied at as the input so that's why if any system is there or any device is there that is having higher input resistance then that device should be used at the input part or the starting part of the system so that whatever input is there input voltage is being applied the same input voltage is appearing at the input of the system so this is the system so here input voltage to the system will be the same as the input voltage we are applying so that's why it is used uh, as the first stage to the any system if we are going to have uh, the highest input uh, resistances there okay so this is uh, uh, basic of a jfet and mosfet next this jfet and mosfet is further divided so this uh, jfet and the mosfet is further divided into two, di two different parts okay so this jfet is divided as 
एन चैनल एंड पी चैनल ओके सो दिस जेफेड इज ऑफ टू टाइप दैट इज एन चैनल जेफेड एंड पी चैनल जेफेड द मॉस फेट सिमिलरली द मॉस फेट दिस मॉस फेट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू टाइप दैट इज कॉल्ड डिप्लीसन टाइप मॉसफेट डिप्लीसन टाइप मॉसफेट एंड अनदर वन इज कॉल्ड इनहांसमेंट टाइप सो इट इज फर्दर डिवाइड इन टू डिप्लीसन टाइप एंड द इनहांसमेंट टाइप द सिंबल ऑफ एन चैनल डिवाइस सो दिस विल बी द सिंबल सो यर इफ इट इज एन चैनल सो द एरो और द करेंट डायरेक्शन और दिस एरो विल बी इन साइड so this is the gate terminal this is the drain terminal and this is the source terminal this is for the n channel device similarly if it is p channel j fit is there so j fit will be represented by this so here the current will be showing like it will be outside so if it is drain this is gate and this is source so this is the symbol okay so this is symbol of j fit this is for n type Uh, n channel and p channel similarly this is depletion type mos uh, mosfet okay so depletion type mosfet is uh, just we will uh, see like how it is uh, defined so in case of uh, depletion type mosfet this is having this is having a pre existing pre existing basically um, pre existing channel so depletion type mosfet is the type of mosfet where the channel is pre exist that means even if we are going to apply some uh, gate voltage before that the channel will be existing that is channel has been uh, available into the device that will be a depletion type mosfet in case of enhancement type mosfet there is no pre existing channel so there is no no pre existing channel is there so that type of device will be a enhancement type mosfet okay here this depletion type mosfet can operate in two different modes it can operate can operate in two modes so that two modes will be like it can be uh, uh, worked as an depletion mode or also it can be worked as an enhancement mode as these depletion type mosfet can be worked as depletion mode or enhancement mode it is also called de mos okay so the depletion type mosfet so it can work in depletion mode or also it can work in enhancement mode that's why it is called de mos that means d stands for depletion and e stands for enhancement so it is depletion type of mosfet is the mosfet where both type of modes can be operated both type of uh, modes exist that is depletion mode and enhancement mode that's why it is called de mos okay in case of enhancement type mosfet it can operate it can operate in only one mode okay and that mode is enhancement mode so as the enhancement type mosfet can operate only in enhancement mode that's why it is also called e only mos or e only mosfet okay so this is just a, a overview to all the concepts uh, in case of uh, jfet and mosfet we will next go the construction like how uh, these uh, mosfets or the jfets are being constructed
so the our starting uh, discussion will be with the jfit only okay so we will be starting with the construction of jfit okay so we will be just starting with the jfit once we will be completing the jfit part then we will start with the mosfet part okay so here we will see construction of jfit okay so this is the figure showing the jfit basically okay so jfit is a three terminal device uh, we have already seen so there will be three terminals and that three terminals will be the gate drain and source okay so gate drain and source so here this is your drain terminal this is gate terminal and this is source terminal okay also it is like it is constructed on a n type device so there will be an n type semiconductor on which we will be diffusing two p type regions okay so one uh, it is basically we can write like it is constructed on an n type semiconductor and it has two p type diffused regions on the n type semiconductor okay so there will be an n type semiconductor this is n type semiconductor on which we will be diffusing two different p type regions okay so these are two different p type regions are there and these two p type regions will be connected to each other so these two will be connected to each other so these two p type regions will be connected to each other these two p type regions are connected to each other and it constitute the gate terminal so gate terminal of the jfit is nothing but these p terminals uh, p regions so these p regions so it is these two p regions are connected to each other and these uh, two p regions is nothing but the gate terminal of the jfit okay so the connections will be made with the ohmic contact like there will be a uh, metal so this uh, dark one will be a metal so this will be a metal and this will be a, a semiconductor so this is a semiconductor so metal and semiconductor contact is called ohmic contact okay so there will be an ohmic contact so that's why also in case of drain uh, when we are going to have a drain terminal we will be having this as the metal and this is a semiconductor so metal semiconductor contact is there that's why it is written like it is a ohmic contact okay so this is how uh, the jfit is constructed and here the length of the jfit like a length of the channel so this is the channel region we call it so it is between the region between the gate so this is the gate two gates are there okay so region between the gate region is called channel okay and this channel is of n type because the substrate or the say the basic region on which we have uh, uh, diffuses uh, this uh, p type uh, semiconductor 
so the basic structure that is base was of n type so the region these two gate terminals is of n type that's why it is called n channel because the, the region between these two uh, gates is called the channel region okay so this is the channel region so channel region is of n type that's why it is called n channel jfet so that's why it is called n channel jfet okay so it is an n channel jfet so here so here uh, different terminals are there so one is gate so what is the use of this gate so this gate terminal is the terminal that basically going to control the current flow so whatever the current flow is there through this channel that will be controlled by this gate terminal so this gate terminal is basically controls the controls the majority carriers majority carriers that is moving from the so whatever charge carriers so this channel is of n type so n type is having electron as the majority carriers so electrons will be moving from uh, electrons will be moving from source side to drain side okay so whatever number of charge carriers that is electrons or majority carriers will be moving that will be controlled by this gate so gate uh, gate terminal will be controlling the majority carriers moving from the source side to source to drain basically okay so that will be controlling the uh, majority charge carrier flow okay the source so as the electrons or the majority carriers are moving from here to here okay in this direction so the source is basically the uh, region that will be providing the charge carriers so it is called source it is the source of uh, majority carriers basically okay so here the role of source is basically it is going to provide the majority charge carriers or it is it is it is the source of majority charge carriers okay and drain region so this the uh, role of drain region is it is going to drain the whatever charge carriers reaching to the drain terminal okay so it is going to it is going to drain off majority charge carriers okay and this is the channel region so this is your channel region okay so this channel region is basically the region channel is the region or it is the region between these gates or the p type uh, regions basically in the region between or the space uh, it is the space between two gate regions we will be writing two gate region so the channel is a space between these two regions so here channel length and channel width we will be defining the term channel length so if we just remove this okay so the channel length is basically uh, defined by this region so from here to here it is called channel length and the region between here to here is called channel width okay 
so channel length and channel width will be defined uh, like that okay and also so uh, also there is a region defined like depletion region so always in case of jfet the gate terminal or gate to source uh, terminal is basically reverse bias always okay so this gate to source is always reverse biased okay A reverse biased so always the gate to source terminal will be reversed by in case of j field in j field this will be reverse bias so as it is reverse bias so this is p side and this is n side that means it is a pn junction diode so there is a formation of pn junction diode so as there is a pn junction diode that is reverse bias there will be existing depletion region okay so there will be depletion region because of the reverse biasing of this pn junctions okay so if uh, and this reverse bias uh, value will be defining the depletion region if we are going to increase this gate to source voltage the depletion region will be going to increase okay so as we are going to increase the depletion region this channel width is going to reduce so as the channel width is going to reduce the current density current density is going to increase as the width is going to decrease the channel width is going to decrease the current density is going to increase so the current uh, will be looking like the current is going to increase in this region because the current density is going to increase because of the uh, channel width so this is how the gate controls the current flow between the source and drain side okay so that will be defined by the depletion region and that depletion region will be defined by the reverse bias voltage that is gate to source voltage applied to the gate to source terminal okay so this is the construction and the neck the working we will be uh, seeing into the next class basically and uh, this is the symbol so if we talk about the symbol we can just have the symbol n channel and p channel if it is n channel and p channel this is the symbol in case of uh, the j fit so we have already seen this uh, symbols okay so this is all about uh, today's class uh, we will see the working of uh, j fits into the next class